and the travel, how how rough is it to spend 11 hours on an airport floor on, on a Saturday afternoon on the way back? Uh, it was tough. It was unexpected, too. Uh, but, I mean, we were all we all went through it together. Uh, we got through it. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we had a great trip. Did you see Spike's video, a little Instagram thing? Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Um, how tough is the turnaround, like, in terms of three games, <laughs> that flight back, practice today, and, and then like a flight to North Carolina, and then you have another at, at Texas the next week. Is, is this like the roughest part of the season with, you know, I'm sure you guys are worrying about finals too, stuff like that. Yeah, um, I mean, well, in the game of basketball, we love to play games. Um, so this is a really fun time for us as well. Um, although it's uh, kind of taxing on our bodies, but uh, the coaches do a great job of, you know, getting us the proper rest um, and recovery and things that we need. Um, so we're just worried about playing the games right now. What have you learned about this team in the, in the tougher games that you've played so far this year? Uh, we had a great bounce back mentality. Um, I mean, we lost two straight against two great teams, actually, uh, in Xavier and UConn. Um, but, I mean, we came out of the tournament to a one, um, and only a couple teams can say they did that. So, uh, for us, that, that was that was a big accomplishment for us. Karis, in terms of, I don't know, you and Spike as, as the seniors, how do you think he's responded to it? I mean, I don't think anyone thought he'd be, you know, like shut down the way he is at this point in the season. How tough is it for, for you to have him not on the court, and how tough is it for him to just have to take on, like, an, an off-court role more than he wanted? Yeah, I'm sure it's really tough on him. Um, and I know for myself, it's really tough coming back from injury, um, you know, wanting to be like yourself, but knowing that you're not really physically capable of doing that um, right then and there. Um, but he knows he just has to stay the course. He already seems pretty vocal, but is there a sense of, is there an element that he's added to, like, leading the team off the court just because he hasn't been able to be on the court? Uh, Spike? Or, yeah. Um, is is mean, he I'd talking more because he can't play? Yeah, definitely. I mean, when, you, when you're when you not playing out there on the court, you definitely see things from, like, a coach's perspective. Um, so you have, like, different things to say. Uh, and I think that really helped us down the stretch of those games um, this past week. Your thoughts on Duncan Robinson and start he's off with the crowd as well. Yeah, he's really shooting the ball really well. Um, and he's picking up other things as well, such as, you know, defense and rebounding. Um, he had a great steal the other day in the Texas game. We showed him the film the other day. He's really getting better at that, at that aspect of the game. Uh, we really knew we could shoot the basketball, but, I mean, it's the other things that are really going to help us. How are you developing as a When you saw him sitting <coughs> out that whole year, uh, was he more, you know, just, okay, this is what I've got to go through? Was it frustrating for him to you know, not be on the court? I don't think it was frustrating for him, um, <coughs> for him at all. You know, it was more of a learning experience. Um, and, you know, he, he's really blessed to be in this position, as we all are. Um, but, I mean, from him to... For him to transfer from a D3 school to come here um, and then learn for a whole year and then be able to play now, I'm sure that was a huge learning experience for him. Okay, let's talk about where you guys are right now. Coming um, back from a long trip.